And one more thing you have talked about is, um, and I'm paraphrasing this, that I could be incorrect in the words, mm. but uh, the message of no hope. Uh, oh no, no, there can't be any hope because there isn't anyone. For, or put it the other way, there isn't anyone, so how can there be anything to hope? Because that can be misinterpreted as a concept. No hope can become a concept and an activity for some people. Oh, I mean, very clear that a lot of what this, uh, you, a lot of what this uh, communicates is through concept. But the, the words and the concepts are simply an excuse for something else to happen. They can undo the fixed ideas or the fixed ideas that people have about their nature and the nature of the world they live in can unravel a little bit when they meet a very radical uh, concept or perception. But what's going on is absolutely beyond anything that can be said. It's energetic. Essentially what happens in these meetings, this meeting we've just been in, is that there's an exchange of ideas in which some fixed ideas can become a bit loose or unravel. But the thing that's going on uh, to do with liberation is silent, is, is, is wordless. It's beyond understanding. It's beyond knowing. There's something energetic going on there that has absolutely nothing to do with knowing. Is this usually an energetic shift or also um, it, an experiential? It's a, it's not. It's a, even to call it a shift, in a way, makes it sound like a journey. It's not. The, again, and this is very. <laughs> all I can say is that all there is is boundlessness. But the seeker um, feels contracted. It feels limited and contracted in the body. I am in this body. <laughs> And when that contraction meets a boundlessness, which is nobody's, it's nobody's is boundless, they're just a boundlessness. When that contraction uh, meets that boundlessness, it can soften and melt back into the whole. But it's not really a shift, it's more of a dying. I mean, these meetings are about something dying, something being lost. They're not about anything being gained. All that really uh, we, we are doing today, together is having a bonfire. And it's possible in that bonfire that suddenly the whole sense of there being anyone or anything that can, needs to go anywhere can simply evaporate. And this process of um, death, ego death? Um well, it's the death of the illusion of me. Ego, I'm not so keen on that word, but it is the death of the illusion that there is anyone. Is it gradual or...? No, it's immediate. It can be that people come and somewhere there's the me is still... Sort of <laughs> and then it can soften a little, but those people could leave the rest of their lives, lead, lead the rest of their lives, you know, just still in a softened me, but there'd still be a separation. And on the other hand, also what is apparently happening and happening more and more is that suddenly the whole thing just collapses. But that is timeless. It doesn't happen in time and you don't creep up on it. There's nobody that gets near to not being. There's nobody that can get near to not being. Suddenly, first of all, there is a sense of being someone separate and then there's not being. Bang! And is it something more than just perception? Oh yes, oh God, yes. It's not a perception. A perception joins with the me in perceiving I am real and this is a real world. That's my perception. But that, 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 falls, that can fall away. But energetic, this is absolutely energetic. And, um, and, and the energy of, of that contraction suddenly just is no more. And what's left is absolutely ordinary, very ordinary and very simple and absolutely uh, uh, amazing. <laughs> but not to anyone. Nobody is amazed when the illusion of me falls away. There isn't anyone that knows that at all. There isn't a knowing of this. There isn't a sense of this. There just is this. Is there an apparent change to mind and body? The, the body would relax more because 
being me is a very tense business. We, we get very tired because we're on edge, we're, we're defending ourselves, uh, apparently, not always, but life seems to be a threat which we have to deal with. When that falls away, then there's obviously a relaxation in the body. Also, thinking goes on afterwards, but it doesn't happen to anyone, and nothing happens to anyone anymore. There is just what seems to be happening. But the thinking slows down because it can't find anybody to talk to anymore. <laughs> That sounds like a gift for a lot of well, it's not, Yeah, but it's, all of this is a gift for no one. There isn't anyone there that has this gift, that gets a gift. <laughs>